When people think of symptoms of a heart attack, they usually think of chest pain or pressure, like an elephant sitting on their chest, maybe going down their arm or going up their jaw. They might be short of breath, they're nauseated or sweating. Those are classical symptoms you'll read in a textbook. Unfortunately, those are not the case in the majority of patients. Patients present atypically. Patients can actually present kind of free of symptoms that would at least suggest a heart attack. And we frequently will refer to that as a silent heart attack or an unrecognized heart attack. So they may have had symptoms of severe indigestion, for example. Maybe they thought it was the burrito they ate instead of a, a heart attack. They may have just had left arm symptoms, symptoms that went undetected by the patient for them to present themselves for treatment while they were actually having a heart attack. Now the difficulty, the challenge with a heart attack is that once those cells are gone, they die from lack of oxygen, they're gone forever. So that portion of heart muscle cannot be like reinvigorated. It cannot come back. So patients are often left with serious complications, old heart failure and other issues that put them at risk over time Early detection is paramount for preventing all heart attacks. If we can diagnose heart disease earlier, then we are able to prevent the sequela, the complications that people suffer after a heart attack. It's very easy to do. Finding people that are at risk, whether it be a genetic risk, maybe their father had a heart attack at age 40, there's some sort of signal that's prompting that patient to die early of a heart attack. We need to follow those patients closely. Conditions that lead to heart disease, diabetes being very important, high blood pressure, very common and important, high cholesterol, lifestyle choices of diet or smoking or lack of exercise are all important to identify early in those patients that are at risk to help prevent, in this case, silent heart attacks and in all cases, all heart attacks.